Lithium ion batteries are being used more and more in technology. Our phones, computers, and mobility devices are a few examples of that. A major blaze in the United States is the latest in a growing number of fires linked to the batteries, and officials are urging people to pay extra attention. Take a look at this video out of New York City. In a matter of seconds, we see smoke and flames quickly getting out of control. In minutes, the small plaza catches fire. As this fire department drone video shows, flames rip through the roof and the intensity of the blaze was captured on infrared camera. Officials said the cause was a battery on this charred e-scooter that exploded. It's not exactly clear how that happened. Seven people were injured and several businesses gutted. This is an emerging threat here in New York City. We have seen a quadrupling in e-bike fires just in the last few months alone. Um, we are inc incredibly concerned about the damage they can cause, the loss of life that it can cause, and the danger it, it faces our first responders. New York Fire Department Commissioner Laura Kavanaugh called this an urgent issue and asked for more government regulation along with education. We're here to address a mounting crisis, not only in our city, but throughout our country. Bronx Representative Richie Torres said he's bringing forward a bill to Congress to force stronger safety standards in the U.S. for lithium-ion batteries, especially as the use of e-scooters and e-bikes rises among workers. No delivery worker should have to choose between his life or his livelihood, between his employment and his safety. Safety concerns don't stop at the U.S.-Canada border. Last year we saw a 142 percent increase in our fire incidents. Toronto Fire Services Deputy Chief Larry Coco said there were 11 lithium-ion battery fires in 2021. Last year up to 29. One particularly concerning incident involved batteries that were affected by a fire. Those batteries reignited 87 days later. Thermal runaway occurred and we had to respond again. With the ability to store so much energy in a small battery, it increases the risk. But Coco said while the technology is generally safe, nothing is incident proof. Toronto Fire staff are working on ways to improve responses and educate the public. He gave these tips. Make sure the product has a CSA or UL designation. Pay attention to electronic charging recommendations. Use the charging device that comes with the item to avoid overcharging. Replace batteries with ones recommended by the manufacturer and be extra careful about after market ones not rated for the device. Don't leave devices charging for an extended period of time without watching. Don't charge items on soft surfaces since the devices can't cool properly. Don't throw lithium ion batteries in the garbage. And lastly, I can only stress the importance of following the instructions. For more on this issue, head to citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.